Hi, tonight we're going to be talking about dragonflies, the significance of seeing them, a little bit of their history, what the symbols are, and yeah, I don't know what's going on there. But anyway, if you are seeing a lot of dragonflies lately, there are a couple of things you want to pause and please use your discernment of what I'm sharing with you today, what pertains to you. Because even the stuff I went over, some of it, I, I only picked what I liked, but some of it um, hit home, like, oh, that's a stage that I'm at. Others, like, I could see going through that. So if you're coming across dragonflies, there are many messages, meanings behind it, totem animals. So um, it, it was really cool, shamanic angle I tried to come from. So if you see dragonflies often lately, um, you want to stop and ask yourself, what areas of my life now can I improve um, what can I shed and I love that word that seems very appropriate what can I shed in order to bring more light and freedom and joy into my life because too many of us are walking around with not enough joy right too much heaviness where we're not feeling free so if that doesn't feel right to you then the next thing it's a sign that um and I love this it may be a sign that great um, new beginnings for you, a metamorphosis um, is coming up in your life and it's asking you to pay attention to details of animals and different things like that, numbers that are applying, are showing up in your life. So lately, um, I'm personally seeing a lot of dragonflies, butterflies, um, we call them diamond needles, something else, but a really cool thing. So, even though somebody asked for this video, I felt I really needed to do it because of what I've been seeing. And some of the other dragonflies are symbols of the virtue of living in the moment. And again, I think that's a huge message that a lot of us need to hear, to be fully present. And when you do this, you're more aware of who you are, what you want, what direction, right? What you wanna manifest in your life. That's an important um, thing to realize, right? To live your best life. And it's also known to represent, like I said earlier a little bit, new beginnings. And I personally love new beginnings. I think that's awesome. Some people don't like change, but do you know how much energy it takes to stay exactly the same a lot more than to go with the flow and uh, accept change? So new beginnings, happiness, um, transformation, change like a shift in the self-realization like your relationship with self hope and love so I'm loving a dragonfly and yeah there's, there's some others um, Native Americans feel that they represent the souls of the dead and I have had quite a bit of loss lately so it did make me wonder about that today because I'm like wow I'm really seeing a lot of things um, dragonfly is a sign also that angels are surrounding you with love um, that I was not aware of until today that's kind of cool again the dragonfly represents change transformation adaptability and self-realization and digging around what I found is um, especially with shamanic work often the changes in areas of mental and emotional maturity um, achieving balance and deeper understanding of all of life like the meaning of life and this this is just on a gut level but I did come across this information some cultures believe that dragonflies are connected to the elemental realm and represent a connection to spiritual beings which would make sense right when um, some of the articles I came across talking about dragonflies and a connection with um, angels, elementals, and I definitely feel the vibe of elementals. Like it definitely seems, right? Look at the beauty, the way they move. Uh, there's just something very, very special about them. And every time you see them, at least for me, I get incredibly happy when I see them. And the amazing thing lately I'm noticing, I've never noticed this before, but I'm seeing red and blues and greens. like beautiful beautiful colors um i'm definitely quite taken with them and not that long ago i saw one come over the back fence and i'm sitting in my chair meditating and looking at it and a very large one and it was coming right at me and i'm thinking it's not gonna hit me and bam hit me right in my forehead 
<laughs> I should look that up. What does that mean? Um, something else I wanted to share. Um, important lessons to, to get from dragonflies when you're seeing them and to know this is they do have a very short lifespan and it reminds us to live to the fullest, like our fullest potential and to be fully present. Too many of us, we could be physically present, but not really, you know, we're not emotionally, we're not mentally, we're not really in the moment. And remember to look for, for and acknowledge all the gifts and beauty that are in your life. Be grateful and be present. And one of the things that I started noticing, like I said, I'm seeing all signs from nature. It's been really awesome. I'm noticing as I'm waking up something I haven't had for years. I'm feeling incredibly joyful. And boy, does that feel good to have that back. To As you're coming through, sorry about all the background noise. As you're coming through and to realize I'm so grateful to be here. I'm at peace and... I feel more joy and just by being, just by being. I noticed when I was meditating today, my heart was so filled with love and I wanna get more and more into that because it's, it really is falling in love with life itself and all that is. So I hope that this video helped you. And as I'm saying this, I just saw a, video, um, a dragonfly f fly through my yard and over the fence. If you have a suggestion for a video, please share it. If you'd like a private reading with me, whether psychic, mediumship, or healing, reach out to my website, www.daniellodecastro.com. And if you have a suggestion for a video, I would appreciate you leaving me a comment. And thank you for giving me a thumbs up and subscribing. Namaste.